Guys, what is up? It's Friday. I'm uh, rocking my COVID hair because I don't have time to go get a haircut. Mm -hmm. We've got a dual blend plus pickup here today. These guys are from Pennsylvania and uh, they've got nice F-250. Theirs doesn't have a check engine light that I'm aware of and it doesn't leak oil. Both of our trucks are <laughs> a week old and they're both in the shop. Yay. Uh, but anyway, what do you think of the skid? What do you think of the unit there? Oh, it's great. It turned out great. It's nice and clean. Uh, it has it has the two pumps, so if anything goes wrong on the one, I can just go to the other one. Uh, and uh, it's just it's just nice and clean. I can take it on and off uh, in the winter time. I'm uh, really happy with the way it came out. Well, we appreciate the business. They've got a pretty long drive, so they're gonna skip the training portion of the day. But he's been batch mixed, soft washing, so he knows what's up. Uh, he don't really need that, so we're gonna get them out of here. Thanks for the business. Awesome, thank you. You got coronavirus now? Appreciate you it. Shook my hand. I meet up with it. Not really. But anyway, uh, we'll check in with y'all later. We've got three more systems going out today, two more dual blends, and a mini skid. So thanks for watching. We'll be back. I may just splice all these into one video. That way we're not uploading a bunch today. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Awesome. Guys, Southeast Soft Wash, we're back here Friday doing some more pickups. We've got a mini skid and a really nice little compact trailer. So What's your name? Brent. All Brighton. All Britain. All Britain. Yep. And uh, Burroughs Best Wash. So I don't know if he means Yarborough's Best Wash. Actually, Murphy's Borough, Murphy's Tennessee. Borough, yeah. So that's a pretty cool name. I really like that. That's catchy. He's got a nice little enclosed trailer. We dropped a mini skid back here. It fits really good. Compact system. Works good in neighborhoods. Uh, so he's got some HOA restrictions with where he lives. But this is going to keep him in compliance with the HOA, uh, but a very functional little trailer. So he's going to add some more stuff, I think, to the trailer, a uh, pressure wash system in the future. But he's got a really nice, you know, it's right here, easy to get to. Um, I like this a lot. So we appreciate the business. Give me your feedback. How's the class been? Uh, what do you think overall? Yeah, so the feedback was uh, class was great. He's very informative and everything. Uh, learned a lot. I've been watching him for a while. It's definitely the best way to go as far as efficiency and whatnot. So Cody's been great and I highly suggest him. We appreciate the kind words. We do try. Uh, so we're going to take this around back, pump some bleach into it. We're going to use this one for our demo today. And then we're going to go out and do a little bit of roof cleaning. So we'll be back shortly. We'll do another video with uh, two more pickups. So Guys, Southeast Soft Wash Friday. Uh, we had a dual blend leave out this morning. We did a mini skid pickup earlier in the little trailer. Went out and did the infield training, and now we've got two more that are headed out. A little bit jealous, a little bit in the gall of bitterness. Uh, this man has stolen this truck, y'all. So if there's a, there's probably a be on the lookout for this truck. A uh, very good looking. What year model did you say it was? 97. 1997. Sharp looking Ford F250, and then he's got a sharp looking skid on the back as well. Uh, so what's your name? What's your business name? Um, Michael Birchfield. Uh, it's Lake Wiley Soft Wash okay. from uh, Fort Mill, South Carolina. South Carolina. Not too far. No. Um, took your training day to day. What yeah. do you think? Uh, it was awesome. Yeah, I learned, learned a lot. You know, I've been in the carpet business for a while, but uh, this is a little bit different for me. And I think that um, your training was perfect, right? Spot on. So I enjoyed it a lot. Similar business model, but yeah. different. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he's got a dual blend plus. Uh, one minor change to his is he upgraded to electric hose reels, which we can do. Uh, so that's pretty nice. When he pulls this off and reels it back up, just push button. So a neat feature. But uh, his other hose reel for the other side is not going to arrive here till Monday, even though we ordered it a long time ago. So we're just going to ship him that and he can drop it in. Yeah. He's not dumb. He'll be able to figure that out. I think I can. A couple bolts. So very nice skid uh, surface cleaner. Mm -hmm on a very nice looking truck. So yeah, I appreciate that. That was the cherry on top. So it, was, it makes it look yeah, really good. I tried good. to buy the truck, he wouldn't sell it. Thank you for the business, Thank sir. you, sir, I appreciate it. Go back everything. and make a bunch of money. And let's walk over here and look at this other truck. Another nicer truck, Chevrolet, newer truck. Michigan tag. The owner of this truck is standing right there, but he's uh, camera shy and scared. So I tell him he don't have to be on video. We'll just do a walk around. So a nice Chevy, long bed. He's got a dual blend plus as well. He did some upgrades also. He's got four Titan hose reels all the way around this thing. So starting at the front, uh, 200 feet pressure washer hose on its own custom shelf, high pressure ball valve. Moving over, we've got the soft wash system. 
blend manifold is right there. Pump, easy to get to, easy to maintain. Soft wash reel right up top. Coming around this way, uh, surfactant, surfactant tank, control box. He's getting some extra surfactant, so we'll throw that up there so we don't forget. Uh, four gallon a minute pressure washer, everything's plumbed up. Coming over to this side, he's got his charge port right there on the box for charging the batteries inside for the soft wash system. Another soft wash hose on this side. Then he's also got the feed reel. So this is like our trailers. It's a pre-plumbed 100 feet. Now he's got room on here. He can put another 100 feet, have 200 feet of feed hose. That's bringing water into the system so he can get water in, in his tanks without having to take lids off. Once he hooks up to a hose, a uh, spigot with this hose, it diverts right here to this manifold and then he can select uh, where he wants to send that water to. Pressure washer, soap tank, water tank, water tank. He's got another blend manifold, pump, surface cleaner up top, ladder rack. So he's good to go. Uh, very nice. I like these side shelves. We have to make these custom. So if you order one and you want to kind of upgrade to this design, just let us know the height that we need. We'll get with you on it. Make sure that we've got this where it needs to be in relation to the bed wall. But very, very slick. Two very good looking skids. So a good day for us for skids. One mini skid, three regular dual blend skids headed out and, uh, we're actually catching up from the great trailer debacle of 2020. So next week, we'll have a couple trailers going out for you guys. So you can check those out as well. Thank you for watching the channel. It's hot. My pastor pouring sweat. He's holding the camera. I'm afraid he's going to drop it. So we're going to cut. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week.